Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you're all having a great day. If you ever have any questions that you would like to ask me or that you would like me to answer, ask me in the comment section below. I love doing it. Today we have a viewer question. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about buying property international. So this is what this video is, is kind of about. The first question is, can you recommend something like Zillow, but for France? I assume you want to buy something in France. In France, so it's, it's a double pronged question and I'll explain why as well. It's, uh, the, if, for, if you're trying to buy in France, there's a web, so, web, wow, website called Soulorger. It is S-E-L-O-G-E-R, I believe, dot com. Um, I can't and won't provide links for these things simply because a lot of times YouTube sometimes does not, um, you can get in trouble for, for posting outward links sometimes depending on where they are in the actual comment section. I've done it before, had videos either demonetized or not taken down, but I've gotten like in trouble for it. And it's like you posted an outside link to something else. So for safety's sake, the first one is called Soulogé. It is S-E-L-O-G-E-R. And the second website is called La Forêt. It is L-A-F-O-R-E-T. Kind of like the forest, but in French. And I believe that is .com as well. The issue that you're going to find when trying to buy property overseas or in another country that you would not currently live in is that the website is going to be in that country's language. I've seen people asking before, do they have like English versions of these websites? And that's not usually how they work and I'll explain why once we get to the actual other question and I'm done answering this question first. So if you can find a helper, there are many of them online as well or also um, someone to help you translate these things. There's also even like, I think there are other like Google plugins as well and other plugins where you can actually translate pages as you're actually on them. Typically, 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 if you are going to another country, and you are trying to buy property there, usually they're used to working with foreigners. They're used to working with people who don't speak their language and English will usually be the connecting language. They may not speak English perfectly. When I bought my place in Budapest, saw that video, uh, the guy didn't speak perfect English, but we, 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 we got there. So that's usually all that matters. In Europe, especially in Europe, if you're trying to buy property and also many other places around the world, um, the term real estate usually comes out to be IMO. I-M-M-O, it's usually shortened. It's usually immobilier, IMO, or immobilien, usually in German in some sort of way. So if you see something that says I-M-M-O, you normally know that you are in the right spot when it comes to looking for real estate in that country. So we have Soulogé, we have La Forêt. These are the ones for France. If you are looking to buy in Hungary, the website is Ingatlan, I-N-G-A-T-L-A-N. Uh, I believe they added an English uh, tab up top. I, they must have, because I definitely don't read Hungarian. Uh, but it is, and I'm giving you the names of these places because you're going to have more success finding more places and other places, especially if you're looking to buy and renovate, getting something at a cheaper price. This is where you'll find these things. Once again, uh, if you're looking in the Netherlands, the best website that I found is called um, Funda, it's F-U-N-D-A dot N-L. The very top or somewhere around there, there's like an English option, English option. And the website has worked out absolutely great. I've been looking for property there for a number of years and I like the way that it's set up. It also goes into English and it's the Netherlands. If you've never been to the Netherlands, Netherlands, Netherlands before, I recommend you do so. It's absolutely beautiful. If you're looking within Germany, there are a couple of websites to go to, but there's one that beats out the other ones. Um, it's called Immobilien Scout für uns Französisch. That is I M M O B I L I E N S C O U T twenty four, and I believe it's dot D E. I don't think it's dot com. This is the best one when it comes to buying property in Germany. They have been. I found so many good deals on that website. Um, and I would highly recommend them if you are looking for property within Germany. It's Immobilien Scout Field in Swansisch. If you are looking, there's also two other ones. 
There's Imonet, I-M-M-O-N-E-T. And Imovelt, there's I-M-M-O-W-E-L-T. So like real estate net and real estate world, if you would translate them. They also have a lot of property. And sometimes I found that they have more um, like land. If you're looking to buy land, it's usually easier on Imonet and Imovelt. Um, but the layout, something about it just doesn't hit me as strong as Immobilien Scout Film Sponsors. Um, but they're also, they're very well-known websites. Like they're not like scammy at all. Like they're used by Germans. I just don't like the layout, if I can be completely honest. Um, if you're also looking in the United Kingdom, I would highly recommend. It's a website called Right Move. So R-I-G-H-T-M-O-V-E dot C-O dot U-K. Um, not that the website's clunky, but it's kind of a bit all over the place. You have to enter things multiple times just to get to other areas. Like I'm looking in Mayfair, Mayfair, London. Yes, Mayfair, London. I'm looking for a flat. I'm looking for a so-and-so. You're looking for a detached house and undetached house. I'm looking for like, it's, it's, it's just a lot kind of sometimes when using that website, but I've looked for property in London on right move before and also a property in Scotland. Um, one of the best websites and also they speak English. So, you know, there's always that if there's like a language barrier in any sort of way. Uh, so hope that should answer your question for are there other websites like Zillow, but for France and then also the other countries. Um, I've also used once again, all of these websites. This is why I'm telling them to you. It's not just like random websites. I was like websites for a property. Like I've used these things before, so I know that they actually work and I've contacted people on these things before. Next question is, tying into this, it says, is it true that they pump prices when foreigners want to buy? It's a very complex question. And this is why I said, these are the websites that the actual people in these countries use. When you are trying to buy property overseas and they know that you're foreign, you look like a big dollar sign in their eyes. They know that, or the idea is, you are fortunate enough to have enough money to be able to come to my country to buy a property that even I can't buy. Well, clearly you have money and clearly you're trying to buy something luxurious or something you know kind of up there. So therefore I'm gonna show you the best of the best. This is why you may have realized, hmm, if you've gone to a website like property in France, enter, but you entered it in English, property in France, enter, you're going to get a bunch of websites that are completely in English, but they're only showing you luxury property or really beautiful renovated things. It's because they're trying to hit a certain market. This is why you should, I know it's difficult because of the language barrier, but these are the websites that the people use in the actual countries. And this is what makes them really good because you get the whole shebang. You get everything that everyone is putting online and not just the luxury stuff. Because years ago when I was looking for stuff in Paris, property in Paris, and you would find stuff, it's beautiful, but it's also like like 1.7 million for like a really small, tiny place. And that's because they renovated it from top to bottom. It's in a really great area, has all this other stuff. But then you look at comparable stuff on the actual French websites and you're being overcharged like three or four times because they are trying to hit a certain type of clientele. This is why they will show you, usually show foreigners. This is, it's happened to me a couple of times until like I really had to like hammer it home. I was like, just show me like normal stuff. They show you luxury property because you are foreign and not from there. Listen, they're, 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 honestly, they're going to try and make as much money as possible because they've been told once again, you have enough money to come to my land to buy something that I can't buy, you have money. I'm gonna show you stuff so that I can make more money so that I can also try and buy the same exact thing that you're buying. They'll show you more central locations. They won't show you outer areas, which also isn't like a huge problem, but Sometimes, especially like when looking at Amsterdam, they'll usually show you stuff, not on Funda. <clears throat> they'll show you stuff that's very center, like hyper, hyper center. But if you look outward, a little bit outside of the canals, you can find beautiful like high rises, but they're not like, they're not like American high rises. They're like really nice, classy, that sounded wrong. You know what I'm talking about, high rises. Huge, beautiful, renovated places, about three times as big, but you'll only find stuff like that on the actual Dutch websites and not on the actual places that they're trying to show you uh, in the very hyper center, uh, extra cash because you're foreign. Um, I know it can be a bit difficult to find local websites or local places. You just have to search. It's not that difficult. There are tons of people. There are tons of foreigners. There are tons of expats who have moved to these countries 
have been looking in these countries who've had the exact same questions, you can find a lot of this information online. There's, I don't have information for like Bolivia or like South Africa, but you can definitely find the local websites if you're trying to move to these places. It's not difficult. It takes about a good week or so to really find the website that's right for you. Don't be afraid to contact these people as well. Even if you aren't immediately looking to buy, let them know, hey, I'm looking in this place, I'm looking in the so-and-so, here's my price range, what can I find? If they tell you that there's nothing, when you know that there's something within that price range, leave them alone. Go to another website, don't be afraid to send people questions to ask them, almost to ask them answers. To send them you know, that, that contact form, don't be afraid to fill it out. Even if you're not looking to immediately buy, just so you have something more in your head, so that when you do decide to buy, you go, hey, I worked with that person before, they were really nice, they told me exactly what I needed to hear. I'm gonna work with you, it, take, it took a year, but here I am. I did this before in Paris as well. I was looking at a whole bunch of places, none of them really fit, and then I, a year later, the same exact woman who helped me, I went back to her, she was kind of surprised as well, and I was like, you were the only person who really helped me, who showed me things, even though I told you I couldn't immediately buy, so she got the commission. Um, yeah, um, I like that people are looking to buy overseas. It's always kind of exciting to me when it comes to real estate. Um, I do hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask them. I love answering them. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all are having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I do hope that it is absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching and or listening, and I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you!